They want us to see in black and white, but we ask you to see in color. Our skin, caramel, brown, and chocolate look different amongst one another. It becomes glazed under the yellow sun like our eyes, dark brown, light brown, and hazel. They sparkle like the stars that feel so far away, so powerful and ominous like an angel. Our hair entices the rainbow wheel and you look at it in awe, not knowing that our curls, braids, weaves, and locks, and bald heads, and naturals, and relaxed inches could talk. Our clothes speak to our identity, which is fluorescent and bright, but those colors have been bleak because we are dying every night. There's a culture within our colors which runs deep in the present generation, and it can only be carried through our DNA. It's our ancestors' reincarnation. You want us to see in black and white because it's easier for you to tell, the difference in skin color because the only options are dark or pale. These two-tone perspectives produce two-faced people. Like your skin in the summertime, honey, that brown ain't equal. Our vibrant colors make up the art that you are endlessly influenced by. Your white skin erasing that all and calling it yours consistently. Why? Maybe because you claim you don't see color, so you must not be racist. That's the problem. We are called black but present you a color swatch of diverse brown faces. Or because your fragile white snow can lay on top of a black mountain for the first time in its life and suddenly believe it is the mountain's protector out of spite. Or because there's brutality in your history books so you whitewash it with your superiority. Then go to our homeland, our creation, and ask for charity. You destroyed our wooden symbols of gods and shackled us in rusty chains, but you are unaware that the green restoration of our motherland continuously courses through our veins. This green life we have is the same green that runs your government, but you supply our green to men in blue who turn our brown into red for its betterment. You blame your failure on the obscure colors of the oppressed, but demand us to construct, create, and paint your world within your State of the Union address. The media you constructed, which leaves us transfixed, tells us to partake in these black and white antics. It's not a race war. It's not blacks against whites. It's the disenfranchised and the vulnerable trying to grasp the light. So take off the black and white lens that gives you the privilege to be ignorant and see the people of color screaming for justice against the colorless background of the belligerent. Revolution's resolution. Be there when they shoot us down. Like when Mammy Till was there when Emmett's body was beaten and drove around. Or like when JFK's light left his soul and Jackie O took control. Or when Coretta King saw the mission through when Martin's season finale came to. Or when Brianna Taylor. Brianna. That's me. She was killed while she was sleeping. At the hands of white policemen protecting the system that protects them. That's cheating. That could have been me on display. Waiting almost 200 days for my murderers to not be acquitted anyway. On the same day that Emmett's murderers got away. I bet you they're going to write a story about how they got away with murder that day. I am a black woman. I am scared, I am numb, I am alone because it feels as if the only people who will protect me is my own. The result of the revolution? Protect us and hold us tight for I feel I am as disposable as the winter light. 
So just like the response to Brianna's bullet that missed her and shot the wall, the result of the revolution is to protect us. And that is all.